What the process requires is there is no fight, there is no conflict. And in the southern eastern Anatolia, we would never allow a Stalinist communist state. We would never allow that land to be separated. Why do, I, why do we not allow that? Because they are our sisters and mothers, and we are not going to give them in the hands of the Stalinist or communist people. We would give our lives in this way. We would be acting against such a mentality, because if any such thing would happen, really, all things would be turning against us and there would be no meaning of life for us. So there should be freedom to the utmost extent and there should be respect again for them to the utmost extent. Maybe they have been oppressed in the past. They need to be really asked for an excuse. They need to live a life like paradise. They may speak Kurdish if they want to do that. But as an official language, Turkish should be prevailing so that we may communicate easily. Otherwise, if we were to go to Black Sea region, for instance, if they speak Laz language, how would we approach them if we were to ask for soup? Should we call for a translator and tell him to translate what we are telling? Or if we are traveling to Antep or Adana, then we will again need translators. Surely that should not happen. Everyone should speak with Turkish, but they can also speak Kurdish if they like. They can also carry out their zilgut in Kurdish. And if people speak Arabic, really, that's so pleasing to hear. I'm asking for people who speak Arabic to speak this beautiful language because it's so nice to hear. But if there's any claim in order to hold that community distant from us, that's definitely not acceptable. And Abdullah Öcalan, he took a great risk and he made a great turn. For instance, while he was a communist Stalinist, he said that he wants Islamic Union. That is a good step, really. That's something very good. And in that aspect, I find that to be good. And he says that communism has ended. And this is a word that takes the PKK organization against him, really. This requires a great courage. This requires altruism. And he spoke these words, and it's really nice. And for his hereafter, really, that will be good. He should be asking for Turkish Islamic Union. He should be asking for repentance from God. This is only a world of two days. We will be all leaving this world. He should be asking for repentance, he should be asking for forgiveness from God, and he should be making efforts to make the Quran prevail all over the world. And he showed great courage. And this way he criticized and turned his back against communist ideology. And that is really something very important. He really had a risk there. And he should be against bigots and radicalism. And this is the soul of the entire region. And my Kurdish brothers, they would never be living without their religion. Because when you name a Kurd, you know that their life purpose is the Quran, Islam, God, and if you take away all these moral values from him, then those Kurdish community, those Kurdish people, they would be turning into insanity, and that is why I'm not allowing that to happen. And Abdullah Öcalan, he made a mistake, and now he will have a piece of heart, really. He would not be free to walk on the street. But there, he has security, state security, he's watching television, he's reading his books, he needs to perform his prayers and ask for forgiveness from God, day and night. And when Islamic Union is established, he will have this serenity in his heart, he will have this joy in his heart, he will find its blessings. Because, because those blessings will be surrounding everywhere. And this is how it should be. And if he wants to do something good to southern Eastern Anatolia, all my grandmothers, their heads are covered, and they are pious ones. They are performing their prayers five times a day. And if you go to that community and tell them to act by Stalinism, then that would be the greatest defamation against them. They would say that just kill us, but that, don't do this to me. They would accept 
death really, but never Stalinism, because that would be making them lose their dignity, their chastity, and then they would be questioning why they have a life really. So what needs to be done is that they need to embrace Islamic Union and they need to advocate the modern way of Islam and all Kurdish communists. They need to also advocate Islamic Union and also PKK terror organization. They need to perform their prayers five times a day and they need to submit themselves to God and they should be advocating Islamic Union. And that land is vacant, that geography. I know that Iran, the alleged Ergen Contrary Organization in Turkey and Iraq and Syria, they have really oppressed my Kurdish brothers. We have this knowledge, we are aware of this. We know that they have passed through all the grief and pains and everyone is aware of this, but they will be saved from that grievance only by means of Islamic Union. And they have their foot in the mud, and you are trying to throw that one in fire, and you are naming that to be salvation. That is definitely a great trouble. By means of Islamic Union, our brothers will have a great serenity, peace of heart, and the region, Diyarbakir, Mardin, Siyirt, they need to turn out to be places like Paris. And my sweet ones, I see their photographs, they are so cute people, so innocent ones, they are all pious, they are religious ones, they enter the mosques with no shoes in their hand, uh, feet really. They are like lambs, and if you want them to live the savagery of communism, we would never be allowing that to happen. That is only a vain purpose.